hello everyone welcome to another episode of t-shirt design tutorial so today i am going to make a halloween t-shirt design as you can see from here so this design was inspired from this one and i really like this cute design so i thought to make something like this and instead of this design i am going to make it with a beer so the text of my this design will be trick or beer and then for that one i am going to use this pumpkin here as you can see this is a image of a pumpkin so we can use that to illustrate our own graphics and this is a beer glass just for an example so this is a sketch i made in photoshop you can see here so this is just drawing on top of them and i am going to make it from this sketch but for making a sketch like this you don't really need a graphic tablet you can i made it with my graphic tablet but you can just make it with placing image and then draw it with pen tool so it is not important to have a fancy graphic tablet now for this one this illustration i can simply use my graphic tablet to illustrate this one but i am going to do it with my pen tool so that you can follow with me or whoever if you have a graphic tablet you can just draw it with that but if you don't you can simply practice with me so that's the theme of this one so this is the rough sketch i am going to place it here i am going to just i am going to down the opacity a little bit then i am going to lock this layer so i am not going to do anything in this layer then i will create a new layer on top of that and in this new layer i will do my line work so you can simply draw it with your graphic tablet but that will be kind of messy because this is a freehand drawing but if we do it with the pen tool that will be super crystal clear design so that's why i am going to use my pen tool so i am going to take my pen tool here i am going to just make it 10 pixel size of my stroke this is the size i will be drawing then i am going to just click on p to activate my pen tool now from here i am going to okay so here i am going to bring my ruler because this is a symmetrical design that means if i draw one part i will be just able to reflect it to the other side so this is my ruler i'm going to right click on it and then lock guides that will lock it it will not move from its place so now i'm going to take my pen tool i'm going to just click on here now once i click here okay so i forgot to take the measurement now i am going to my properties panel so that i can put that in here and now i'm going to press alt on my keyboard to bring this side like this so this will modify my this line that is fine and it is going to continue but i don't want that so i want to end it here so i'm pressing esc keyboard esc key on my keyboard and that will end it like this so that is fine and from here i'm going to if i click here it is going to join there that's fine let's just try to place it like this then with my i'm pressing alt key to move this or make these adjustments you can do it at once or you can then modify you can just make something and then modify like this that is good so this is fine now this is just some simple random lines i'm going to just place i'm going to click here then I'll bring my cursor in this point to make this. Okay, so maybe it needs to be like something like a little bit more roundier there. So that is fine. Now for this one, I'm just going to draw it as it is. Something like this. Then I'm going to click here and sometime it adds the anchor point without joining it. So in that case, press shift and click that will join it there and then bring it in this point that is fine and every time i am going to release the line i am pressing esc key on my keyboard that's fine so this should be kind of from here so i am going to click here this is just <laughs> some boring part you can easily skip this you don't need to see this or watch this that is fine so i'm just going to place it in this position instead of following that sketch exactly 
so something like this and then i will join it here then again if i click here it is going to you can see if i try to click here it will erase that point it will delete that point but i don't want that so in that case i am going to press shift and that will join it with the existing anchor point just like this so that is fine now this is how it is looking that is i am very happy with now i am going to just add this random lines so maybe i will just add it from here to follow the curve of the pumpkin that is fine then maybe one from here that is also good just like this so this is the first part of my this illustration so i am going to just select it okay before selecting that or finalizing anything i am going to do some adjustments and that is like if you if i select here i am going to press shift m for shape builder tool to erase that part that is fine now for these areas as you can see this is not looking very cool there is hard cut here so for fixing that i am going to select them then i am going to press shift w or you can just select this one this is the white tool and with white tool i am going to make on end of the stroke smaller but if i do it like this it is going to look like that but that is not what i want so i need to okay so the rule is if i try to shrink this point if i try to make a smaller this point it will act with the next anchor point here so if i try to make it smaller from here it is going to make it smaller from this anchor point so in that case i need to make another anchor point in the middle so you can just little bit click here like this that will create another anchor point and then if i make it smaller it is going to apply to this section only and you can see this area is as big as it was so i am going to do the same here i am going to first of all add a anchor point for every end here and then i will just smaller the end of the stroke that is fine so i'm going to do that here okay so you can just make it bigger too instead of making it smaller then make it smaller it is going to look like this that is fine so in this case i will make it a little bit bigger here then i'm going to make it smaller here and this is how it is going to look so that is fine if i select this one i am going to i can simply make it a little bit wider than how it was and as you can see this is how it is going to look a little bit different than a regular pen stroke or pen tool stroke so that is what i wanted to create here now once i am satisfied i am going to select everything and make it a group then i will just bring a copy here by pressing alt and then i am going to press ctrl r okay so ctrl r is reflect for me but if you just right click and transform and then you will find the reflect here reflect it just like this then important part is making it a group so i made this a group and this a group so if i select this both then if i click on this side again that will become the key object now if i try to align it it is this part is going to align with that part so as you can see this is how it is looking and that part i don't need anymore this ruler so right click and then unlock guide i'm going to remove it from here so in this area i'm going to just bring it a little bit close to the other side and so that it matches perfectly and that is fine and then here in this area it is showing a little bit problem here so we will fix that later once we finalize the graphic but for this one here i am going to i am using my direct selection tool to select this two and then i will select this two with my direct selection tool to join it kind of like this and don't worry about that that is really cool or fine here it is going to look kind of like this that is weird let's select this two and right click and join so that will join now everything else is looking good for me i am happy with the result here and then for this part of the illustration i am going to start again so i am going to okay so there is a mistake here you can see in this one this is not 
working in a perfect way so if i select this stroke go to a stroke and then flip so flip will fix the issue and this is how it is going to look and that is good i'm going to select everything and then make it a group so that it stays in stays together so that is fine now for this beer glass i am just going to illustrate it from here just like this and then i need to pick this size of the stroke here and that is good i'm going to create another stroke here and this two i'm these lines i need really straight i can simply make it a little bit curvy lines like something like this maybe to give it a feel like it's a bare glass but i don't think that is necessary for now so let's keep it simple maybe i'll make it like this which is good so then for this area i'm going to just add it here and then just like this so this is how it is looking this middle one i'm going to keep it straight that's fine so this is okay now and for this one this curvy area that i draw i am going to use my curvature tool or you can do one more thing which is you can just use your pen tool to create some straight lines like this and this is going to be fun so something like this maybe just like this also you can just make it curve like with your regular pen tool strokes but i don't think that is again i am pressing alt key to okay so this much is fine now i'm going to take my curvature tool here and with curvature tool i am going to make these lines round like this and this is kind of fun so this is how it is going to look you can just do it with your pen tool at once by making curve lines but i thought to share this process this is really cool Okay, so this is how it is looking for this one i am going to make it like this and once it is looking like this as you can see this is not looking very perfect here because of some hard ends like this but we can fix that and for fixing that i am going to use my sorry not live paint tool i am going to use my smooth tool which is under pencil tool i forget where it is sorry which is here so this smooth tool will help us so with a smooth tool we can click here and you can see this is making our lines smoother just like this so this is just i wanted to share maybe it will help you make other graphics better so this is how it is going to work and for this area you can just keep clicking and that will keep smoothing your lines which is really good okay so this is not the very perfect way of doing this but let's just we learn something new so that's it now i am going to make this one also that kind of smooth and once we are done i am going to press shift w for white tool and with white tool i am going to just make it the same effect here and that is good so with this one i'm going to make it like this so in some point you can make it bigger in some point you can make it smaller so that is really cool that will give it a look like a hand-drawn design with the pressure sensitivity or the strokes like that so that is fine now for this one here i'm going to just select this line and with direct selection tool i can simply bring this down to match with my that part so here i am seeing a little bit confusion so let's try to fix it let's give it a little space here that is fine now i'm going to make this area a little smaller so that will create that gap for me 
and that is good now we can simply do this with our pen tool just like this if you just familiar with it it will be easier or you can just do it with the other way okay so not like that i'm going to create a line here then of course why do you want to break the line you can simply click on this anchor point and that is going to end the line for you which is good okay so this two line i'm going to select it and then i'm going to apply this effect on it which is the exactly same effect then i'm going to use my white tool to make some of the areas smaller or some of them bigger so that is fine so this is how it is going to look and for some areas like this you can simply if you want to fix it like this is this should be a little bit more round here so you can always do that with your pencil with your direct selection tool okay so that is fine now i'm going to just create these bubbles here i'm going to make it same size as this strokes also you can modify this with direct selection tool whatever you prefer to work with that is good okay so that is good i draw a line here for the shadow or the curve of the glass so i'm going to keep them so this is how it is going to look i need some bubbles or some ellipse like this okay so it needs to be a little smaller than that i'm just pressing alt to copy them you can also make them random like some of them is smaller some of them bigger something like that but for now I'm just going to keep it as simple as possible because it is going to be going to be a long video so this is how it is going to look here and then for this one I'm going to just place some okay so once our illustration is done as you can see this is how it is going to look so now first step will be I will keep a copy I always do that because if anything goes wrong I can always modify this part so from here I am going to select everything okay before that we can turn off the sketch layer so that you can see clearly what is happening now I am going to select everything then I am going to go to object and then expand appearance so expand appearance will make the extra wide extra strokes that we modified it will expand them and then I will need to expand it again that will make the regular strokes expand so now once you have done these two things it will be a flat black color design so as you can see this is how it is looking and for this one i'm going to just a little modify a little bit maybe i need to bring it kind of in this area so that it positioned in the center place that is good let's make it a group so we have this as a group and this as a group so we can easily modify whatever group we want so i'm going to select this group and then from here i'm going to erase this part which is going inside my glass so similarly i'm going to erase this part and then if i select this one i can simply erase this part and anything that is coming inside the pumpkin i think that is good so once you have a illustration like this it is good to go for coloring process now i am going to select everything make it a group so everything is now in a group and for this one i am going to just 
take a rectangle here you can make it any color you want okay so let's make it kind of yellow the beer color or pumpkin color so <coughs> this is how it is looking i'm going to select everything from here then i'm going to click on this trim option on my pathfinder tool so with trim it will trim out everything and then if i select it right click on it then i'm going to ungroup it so select this one the outer side and erase it and as you can see we have some extra area here that needs to be erased so everything else is good here so from here i'm going to just make it a group and inside this group if i double click i can i will be able to select this one this black color or any black color then i'm going to go to select same and then same fill color that will select everything that is in black let's cut it so i have this color layer only here and now here i will just create a new layer and then in this layer i am going to press ctrl f so ctrl f will place my that black line in this layer so if i lock it that black is going to be locked it is not going to be moved move from its place and now we can select this group and group it then we will we will be able to select these colors individually now here you can see the color of my layer is indicating the color of this art artwork so if i select this one it is showing a red line around everything or this box you can see here because this color layer is red if i lock this one if i come to this layer if i select anything that will show a green line because this layer is green so this is just a little information i hope you know this already so i'm going to create the coloring version here so i'm going to select this pumpkin shape i'm going to make it kind of this color that is the pumpkin color or maybe we can just simply unlock it we can take idea from this graphic here and then i'm going to lock it again so i'm going to select this one i'm going to create it this color the color of pumpkin then for the inside shapes i will create this color so that is good for me now for this area okay so from here i am going to select everything like this then i am going to change the color to this one that will be easier for me because those are bigger shapes so like this and then the main big shape i am just going to select and change the color so this is how it is going to work now this part is looking good for this area i am going to select this middle area i am going to make it that a little bit darker than as it is right now because that is in the shadow area or inside area so that should be darker than the rest of the area that is how it is going to work so i am going to select this one this one these two eyes and this nose so i'm going to change it to this color and that is how it is going to look so that is fine now for this one here this bear glass here i'm going to okay so i'm going to bring a bear glass okay so this is a bear glass from free pick i'm using this for referencing the colors i'm going to select this one I'm going to create some rectangles here and with these rectangles I'm going to pick those colors so I will use this one then for the darker color I will use this one so this is just some color reference so keep it here now for this one this one I'm going to pick this color of the bear I don't know if that is the original color I never okay <laughs> let's not talk about that so this is how it is looking i am going to select this two and then i am going to pick this color so this is going to be the bear color now this is the basic coloring process as you can see this is already done we don't need to do anything else except i feel like i need to do something for that color this is not looking like a real pumpkin color so this is how it is how a pumpkin should look okay so this is how it is looking now this is the coloring layer if I lock this layer, if I turn this off, you will be able to see that that is the color layer. So this is the color layer and then this is the line art layer. If I turn on the line art, this is the color. So I need to add a shading line that is going to be the shadow layer. So for doing that, I am going to create a new layer. This new layer must be between the line art and the color layer. So line art should be on top 
color layer should be in the bottom which is good now for the shine for the shadow area i'm going to pick this color this is the main color of the pumpkin i'm going to pick that and then with that color selected i'm going to take a darker shade of that color not that much something like this and with that color selected i'm going to use my pen tool to create this shape here so i don't know how it is going to look something like this and then here i'm going to i'm just following the shape of the black outline so stay inside the black lines that is the only rule and here i'm going to join it with my this part so this is the layer okay so we made a mistake here let's erase it now this is how it is looking we can simply select that and multiply that will look like this but that is being a little hard so we can make it the exactly same color and then we can try multiplying or we can try overlay maybe that will look like this but let's not do that so i am going to just keep it as it is original then i will make it darker something like this and yeah that is visible on the original color so this is how it is going to look and i am going to create this shadow layer for the rest of the area and the rest of the area i mean this area so there should be a shadow here okay so as you can see i made a mistake here i wanted to fix this area here this little black area here but i forgot so we can do that later let's not worry about that right now okay so this is how it is going to look and then for this area i'm going to just this is small details is not really important not sure if that is even visible so i'm going to select this one let's select it so if i select this color i need to go to this select same and then fill color that will select everything in that exact color so i'm going to make it look like this a little bit darker than the original color so then again i need to lock this layer and unlock this color layer so here whatever i placed in this color i am going to select that then i need to make it in this color so that is that should be the shadow color everything else here looks good so let's lock it and unlock the shadow layer again so this is the shadow for my this pumpkin i am going to add some for this area also not sure how it is going to look Okay, so this is how it is looking let's not worry about that so this is how it is looking this is the first pumpkin color layer then for this bear color layer i'm going to pick that color then i will take a little darker shade of that color just the exact same process so i'm going to make it look like this Then from here I will follow the curve of the shape here. And this is how you can add the shadow layer. So there should be some shadows here. Also this glass is in the background and this glass is on top so there should be a shadow of that glass okay that is fine 
for this area there should be some shadow of this water drops i don't know this small area is not really necessary because this is going to be for a t-shirt design so i don't think on a printed t-shirt these details can be even visible but anyway we can just add some details of always so i'm going to do the same thing for this area this is just going to take a tons of time to make a perfect graphic and now i don't want to hide any part i don't want to make it a quick video or a time lapse video where you don't you will not be able to see what i am doing or if i am making any mistakes i don't like to remove that from my video so that is the biggest reason behind that is i want you to see what i am facing while making a design so that you know a good design is not made in 20 minutes so you need to give it time okay so that much is good for me i think i don't need to add any more details to it one more thing i will do is i'll select this on and then i'll just create a darker shade of that just to make it look good just like this you don't need to do this with pencil tool or pen tool you can just take your pencil tool and then add a line wherever you want like this but pen tool makes it real crisp and clear so that is why i was using pen tool okay so i am already bored of this design let's not waste any more of your time okay so that is how it is looking right now that is perfectly fine we can do on a small thing which is adding a highlight layer so let's lock it okay so we can simply rename them so that will be easier for you to understand this is the shadow layer this is the base color layer so this is going to be the highlight color and in this layer i am going to just take basic color of anything then i will take a lighter version of that then i will just add a small line like this you can even use white for this highlight so i need to make it a little bit lighter than that and that will be really visible so this is how it is looking so the only rule here is wherever you are putting the shadow you will put the highlight just opposite of that so we placed our shadow on this right side so i am going to place my highlights on this left side so there should be a highlight here just like this that is fine so again same thing for this one so i am going to just pick this color and then i am going to take a lighter color so in this case here i put a shadow so i'll just add some some random highlight area here because this is a glass bottle so bottle so it should be there should be some kind of highlight in it so that is fine and for this area i'm going to select that one i didn't do anything for this area let's add a highlight for this
okay so this is how it is looking right now that is the perfect graphic for me this is what i wanted to create now i'm going to take a black layer here put it in the background and this is how it is looking and i'll add the text to it later and once my every color layer is done i am going to simply unlock everything here then i'll just okay so before grouping it all together i am going to select this shadow layer if i click on this circle that will select everything in that layer so i'm selecting this shadow layer make it a group i'm selecting this highlight layer make it a group then everything is in group so i'm going to select everything here then let's make it a group so it is going to be the final graphic all together like this so that's it for today's video guys i hope it was helpful if you've learned something new from this one let me know in the comment section and if you want me to continue this illustration process i will add some more videos to my channel so that's it for today's video thank you see you in the next one have a great time